me so tough And I'm gonna take a turn on the world I go In last week's episode, we continued our Atlantic voyage. We had some of the best sailing conditions we've had in years. My moustache became even more fantastic, and we carried out some field repairs. This week, we are finally in sight of Horta. There's no other way to tell you this, I can see land. Um, it's just incredible. They say that when you're at sea, you see things and your sense of perception changes. But for the last two hours, we've had some fairly intense fog just hanging over the uh, boat. And the visibility was down to about, I don't know, two, three hundred feet at times with the radar on. So I've just been sat here kind of like being doubly cautious. And I suddenly looked over and you could see land and it's a beautiful sight, it's quite an emotional sight actually, it's, uh, you know, we've been out here for 16 days and I can now see the clear outcrop of, uh, of the Azores. Um, the sun is coming up behind the island and it is beautiful. Um, probably to you people watching this you'll think, hang on a minute, it's just a piece of grey, but for me who has seen nothing but the ocean for 16 days, to see land is really something special. Anyway, over to uh, the other view. We just woke up and we can see land. I actually mistook it for a cloud. It looks really mountainous. It's awesome. We are now 26 miles from Porta. And uh, I was hoping to come on watch this morning and be able to see land and kind of smell land. Unfortunately, no. Uh, we've got fog. <laughs> fog of all the bloody things. I haven't seen fog since we left Europe. Um, I'm genuinely hoping that it burns off in a couple of hours as the sun comes up. But I'm not a great fan of fog. We've uh, felt the jib away. And um, just because we're also getting headed by the wind, the wind's come around again. She thinks it's just a, an effect of being close to land. But, um, so I've got uh, the plot is split in half, the top half is kind of the plot in the AIS and the bottom part here is a radar. Um, so you know, I always keep the radar on when it's fun. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit of a challenging trip. It's 16 days and uh, to wake up on literally the last morning to find the wind heading us and they're being off. So hopefully we'll uh, be reporting back later from from Porter in the Azores. Uh, that's all I have to say on that. So after 16 long days and nights from Bermuda, we're finally in sight of land. For those of you interested in the geography, the Azores are an island chain a thousand miles from mainland Europe owned by Portugal. And we're heading to Horta to rest for a few days before the final leg to Europe. So what are your thoughts, Missy Moo? Well, um, yeah, we're here at last. After two and a half weeks at sea, we're finally in water, almost. So I'm pretty, pretty excited. I'm excited for a beer. Bring your daughter to the Horta. <laughs> That's an Iron Maiden song, by the way. Okay. Yeah, I think, uh, as soon as we tie up and clear in, my first mission will be getting a Portuguese tart. 
I want steak, chips, and six beers. Yeah, and then that'll be dinner. Steak, chips, six beers. Or possibly some red wine. Right. Ready control, ready control, Zealand. Uh, Zealand, ready control, go ahead. Uh, Rookie Rose is trying to call you just uh, to relay, over. Thank you, Dylan. I haven't heard anything yet, so I guess they're two miles away from the finish line and behind the rocks. Ruby Rose, Ruby Rose, Ruby Rose in Zealand. Do you read me on 72? Over. Yeah, Ruby 5 out of 5, Zealand. Thank you for the relay. We are just behind the rocks, so we're, we are two miles away, Adam. Okay, then you just uh, continue towards the marina. When you're in, uh, call uh, ready control again. They will be standing by uh, and come and meet you at the country Over. First hand me scissors, then bring out the heavy artillery. Oh, justice is my middle name. I'm Alice. One of the things we really love about rallies, especially the World Cruising Club rallies, is that whenever we turn up somewhere, they've got a berth for us, which means that it's one less thing to worry about. We're locating fenders, lines, all the different things that we need to tie up in dock after almost three weeks at sea. And knowing that we haven't got to wait for a berth is a little thing ticked off the list. Although at the moment, someone's resting in our berth, so we've got to do some circles of the marina for a few minutes. One peculiar feature is that I can get the boat across an ocean, across two, three thousand miles, but put me inside a marina and I am completely lost. I need all sorts of navigational aids. I need Teresa to help. I need the World Cruising Club to help. And eventually we find our berth. One thing I don't do on passage is drink anything caffeinated. And as you know, I absolutely love coffee. So as we get to Horta, it's time to crack open a can of Coke and get my first hit of caffeine for three weeks. This is gonna keep me awake and hopefully keep me partying into the night. One thing I take great delight in doing now is telling my long-suffering crew that they can take their life vests off. It is such a relief. We've literally lived in these things for almost three weeks. So after 16 days of the boat moving forward, albeit sometimes fairly slowly, we finally put the boat into reverse and back into our berth. It's a really awesome feeling. Tied up, safe, and 100 meters in the local pub. First things first, we've just arrived in a new continent and we need to clear in with customs and immigration. We can't film this for obvious reasons, but once we're cleared in, we can lower our queue flag, tidy the boat up, and then head off to celebrate 2,000 miles and two and a half weeks at sea. And what better place to do this than Peter's Bar, a bar that now is celebrating its 100th year to welcome sailors, fishermen, and navigators as they cross both ways across the Atlantic. Sorry. We're here. 
I've been dreaming of this moment, I'm not in a pub. <laughs> And so, after two and a half weeks, our plans to party long into the night with our old friends and new friends hit a brick wall as we decide after a couple of beers that a good night's sleep is what we need. Join us next week as we explore amazing Horta, repair the boat and get ready for our last thousand miles at sea. And for those of you who are interested, all our social media is down below. Feel free to subscribe and click that notification bell so you never miss an episode. See you next week.